Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. And I am I am at Sam's Club again. I am just going to pick up a few things for my mother-in-law. It's shopping time for my mother-in-law, guys. So yeah, it's a little bit. I always come here on, on a, a weekend when it's really really crowded. So let me just see. I need to pick up some stuff for my for my mom. You pick up, pick which what what kind? Which one is the best? <laughs> I don't know. I'll just, I guess, get one and be done with it. So, yeah. It's a watermelon. It's so busy today, guys. Look at all these people. Wow, guys. A desk laptop made of bamboo. Wow. Imagine that. Hmm, interesting. And this is $24.98. So guys, I'm at some club right now. I am just kind of doing some grocery shopping. In the beginning, I'm just thinking of taking some, just buying uh, grocery shopping for my mother-in-law. I ended up getting a whole bunch. So, you know, I'm just, it probably saved me time also so that next week, I didn't have to do this. <laughs> Hopefully, right? So anyhow, I was just gonna show you my card quickly, guys. Yeah. That just for like uh, three people, me, my husband, and my mother-in-law. So yeah, it's so kind of, it's really kind of loud today here, guys. <laughs> so let me just see. Yep, I have that Philly cheese stick down there too. And... Uh, that's what I have for today. I'm just gonna do my haul also in my uh, in my truck. So there you go, guys. Again, we are doing a, <laughs> we are doing a uh, parking lot haul, guys. So I am just using some of this uh, some of these uh, boxes they have, empty boxes, so that I can just kind of put everything together so I want to make sure this time that I got this right <laughs> so let us start with down here yeah let's start with my water I'm gonna put the water first and then I'm going to do the uh, uh, bath tissue paper toilet paper that is so yeah not scary let me just do this like this guys so guys, here it is our uh, haul for today. So, uh, like I said, I went to uh, um, <laughs> Sam's Club and uh, they have this, okay guys, this normally the regular price is $9.98 $9 for two. So they have this on sale for $7.07. .07. So I went ahead, you know, it's the best buy date anyway is uh, December 2023 so I went ahead and bought four of this because you know where would that go right <laughs> so yeah that was one and there's two I put it this way guys two three okay it's gonna go like this so four so if each family will get a jar, so that's, you know, that's how I do it. <laughs> so I have four of that. And also I went ahead, get, I went ahead and get the uh, flank steak. You know, it's kind of, guys, you cannot believe everything. Everything is going up prices wise. Because this one here, flank steak, flank steak is supposed to be like, the cheapest part of the uh, of the cow's meat because it's kind of like you know the expensive part of uh, of a cow is like the the New York New York excuse me <laughs> New York strip and then they have the uh, the um, uh, ribeye you know those are kind of like good part of the uh, of the cow when they butcher it when they butchered a cow. Now, flank steak is the cheapest, supposedly, but with all the price, 
the increase in prices nowadays i guess it is just now where the you know how the pandemic peaks and it start going deep so we are going on the deep end of you know like the livestocks are not quite as it used to and of course there's not very many who was able you know things like that into kind of like starting to down spiral now i think i could be wrong guys but i know everything is uh getting expensive well not not to mention that they have some few like the peanut butter that was on sale but this one it's actually only uh two pounds and 84 ounces so 2.2 pounds is one kilo so give and take this is like a kilo and a quarter one and one fourth kilo and you know how much the price guys 27 dollars and 49 cents that's a lot i mean to me that's a lot but this one here i can make into uh, see that's what I'm, I'm just kind of settling down to what i can get where i can make the most out of it also so i'm going to make this one like this just one part because it's like the, there's two parts of the flank steak flank steak here so i can make it into a uh, beef uh, mongolian beef or you know like Shred it, cut it into a thin slices so that it will not be so tough, and then just kind of quick uh, saute it with onions, you know, salt and pepper, and then and then I can even also use the uh, bulgogi marinade to marinate it before cooking it, and it's good. I already have done once of that uh, using the bulgogi marinade, guys. So I know I talk a lot. <laughs> So that's one there. Let me just put it behind there. Just gonna go like that. And then I am out of the minced um, onion already. So I went ahead and get another one. And this time guys, since I went to uh, Sam's Club, do not have the nor chicken bouillon, you know, the powder kind. And uh, I always like something. I like, some people like the, the the uh, bouillon base it's kind of like a paste well i like my powder <laughs> so i went ahead and get this chicken bouillon in cubes so yeah and this is like uh seven dollars i think i remember it right but yeah seven dollars for and then i can just use since it's cubes i can just use one i can just use not you <laughs> i can just use one cubes or two depending on how i would like it to taste you know so that's two and then also uh this one guys um strawberries they have this uh normally this is like five dollars something for two pounds today they have it on sale for um three dollars excuse me three <clears throat> three dollars three dollars and 88 cents guys so uh i bought two one for me <laughs> one for our household and one for my oops one for my mother-in-law so i have two of these yay because they kind of look so fresh and last uh strawberries that i bought they are really really sweet so you know it's still part of the season i'm sure this is really good one too <clears throat> that and so okay guys Sometimes it's all about me and sometimes, you know, it's for the family. But this time, um, as you probably would notice that I like uh, beef jerky a lot. So I went ahead and got me a beef, beef jerky. <clears throat> I like this for snacking and because it has less, it has less calories but more on protein. So I can have my coffee in the morning and then I... I interchange like maybe that's my lunch is just this one it's just snacking pretty much and then or I'm gonna have just my avo avocado so yeah that's how my lunch guys is not so uh, elaborate you know I'm just an old uh, Filipino that is so light that likes the the salty and the spicy one so that's pretty much what I do so I have this one so like I said I like my fruit sometimes too that I like junk food so this is my husband's favorite Garditos it's kind of like like this mix of everything 
this is his favorite so every now and then <laughs> when I'm on my uh, shopping mode, <laughs> I get him one of these. But of course, he likes uh, chips and stuff like that for his sandwich also. So I do that. And then, let me say, I bought a lot today, guys. I guess I just want to. I guess I was shopping hungry. <laughs> so um, I have the milk also. Uh, this milk, the reason I, I don't normally get this much, you know, when it comes to milk, but um, I can do that. I can use the milk for like my, uh, you know, and my coffee, milk, uh, among other things that I put in my, uh, in my drink. But yet yeah, also I use this for cooking. So uh, right now I'm actually doing uh, potato scallops. So uh, that's why I have to use the milk. I have to get it. And I'm just so kind of like t trying to rush and everything else. I didn't even have time to do the vlogs of my uh, scallop potatoes also. But I will definitely uh, do a vlog of that um, next time, guys. So for now, we'll just focus on my whole, this is my milk. So and then, uh, <clears throat> since my husband is kind of normally, I mean, you know, like I said, she's, he's going to be uh, out of town, I guess, for the next eight or six weeks I'm not quite sure yet depending on what's the progress on their job so I went ahead uh, when he just work in town when I you know when I could I'm able to uh, just buy fresh fruits for him then I do it every night but then she's going out of town so I make sure that he would have some fruits so this is like in a jar just like this yeah just like this there's four of this so <clears throat> it's gonna take some to to work you know or I always have one when he uses one then I have to replace it so that I have at least uh, you know spare in the house as an inventory so and then also <clears throat> green beans a can of green beans I have this I mean this is like my easy to uh, get to like kind of uh, vegetables you know especially when you know, cooking uh, when you just, when I just got home from work, cooking like that. So I just open the cans and put my, put my onions, put my seasoning and then voila, boiled it a little bit. Then my dinner's ready, right? <laughs> so speaking of fruits, I still have uh, every, every time I go to the store, guys, I always uh, buy apple. My husband, he likes to eat one apple a day. I'm not into apple too much, but him and my mother-in-law will have will share this one. Like I said, I like my uh, strawberries, I like my apple, you know. But I'm not into. Uh, I mean, I'll take it back. I like my strawberries, and then I like my avocado. But I am not into apples too much. Every now and then I do that. I will put it on my smoothie, you know, if I just want to make juice. Uh, you know like a juice out of apple and banana you know or carrots apple and banana so I do that but you know I get that every every week and also with the banana speaking over the banana guys hang on a second yeah here's the banana share for my mother-in-law and uh, well this is just for my mother-in-law for now since my husband is out of town so cannot have this I mean you know for a guy to get bring all the fruits with him it's kind of like for guys, it's too much work. <laughs> so I have my banana. Let me see. Oh, I got this one too for my mother-in-law because you know it's 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 about easy to fix. Just put it in the microwave, warm it up. So I got here her a fully cooked uh, sausage patties. So I got and then there's like uh, let me see, there's 24 uh, sausage patties in this bag. So that should last her for depending a little bit maybe a week sometimes depending on uh, on her mood also <laughs> so next is uh, popcorn uh, microwavable popcorn he I mean he she she likes my mother no likes popcorn a lot so she can even like have popcorn for dinner because you know it's about putting in the microwave she's not into now is she's not into uh, fixing uh, too much uh, you know meal but 
when I fix something here, I always bring some or, you know, drop some uh, plate to her for that night. And if I don't, I mean, she's a pig eater. I mean, a pig eater, you know, it's, I would not say it kind of like, it kind of is, but uh, she likes certain foods. And I, when I know that she would not eat what I'm making, so I just not, you know we bring her a plate but if I'm making steak if I make spaghetti if I make a uh, uh, meatloaf then yeah I'll bring some I'll bring her by a plate so and here's my here's my husband behind me <laughs> so uh, I went ahead and got this popcorn guys so this microwavable popcorn it comes in uh, 32 uh, 32 packages you know you just undo it and and hey and then just uh put it in the microwave so that's that and then like i said guys i bought a lot today so next is of course you know uh when i shop for my mother-in-law also this is part of the week uh you know the list every time i go shopping because she likes hot dog like i said it's easy fixing for her and that's cool because you know she lived by herself and I cannot be a uh, we cannot give her or drop her up a plate of a plate every day so next is now I'm the one catching up my breath next is you know raw shrimp I like raw shrimp so this is like a jumbo it's without head guys so yeah you know host this for <clears throat> My mother-in-law, the only time she eats shrimp, if it is uh, fried, deep fried, you know, with braiding and stuff. I don't do deep frying. I just kind of like uh, steam it, you know, but, or cut or boil it. That's the only way I do shrimp. And also, because, you know, it's, uh, uh, deep frying it, it takes a lot of work. And I, I don't want to fool with that. Like I said... When I cook, guys, I cook very simply and very minimal. You know, if I if I don't have uh, all that uh, spices that needs for the uh, for the uh, dish for the recipe, I'll just do without it. I mean, I'm the only one eating it, so as long as it's close, then you know, for myself, I can do without it. You know, I cannot I cannot do without. I mean, I can do without the full ingredients required for the recipe so that's what i do <laughs> it's all about a matter of like training your brain to say yeah this is good without that you know this is good without that so that's that's how i do <laughs> i know but but if i have company over or you know i'm having friends over then yeah i would follow the recipe and i have to go to you know get the extra steps to get everything what's needed for the recipe so that's the trick <laughs> so uh, another one it's a big uh, Atlantic salmon fillet and this is when you guys have seen me uh, I have done a uh, bacon wrapped salmon and I have baked salmon also on top of that for those of you that is that haven't seen all my video yet <clears throat> I have baked the salmon over spinach and kale with you know capers tomato cheese and all that good stuff so i can do whatever i can even just grill it you know depending on like i said if i have time and depending what day of the week i cook it if i cook it on weekdays it's just gonna be so quick grill or steam and that's it but on weekdays you know it's gonna be i can do the extra mile because you know that's a weekday i mean that's a weekends you know it's like i have a little bit extra time on weekends so that and then also another one again for my mother-in-law it's a philly cheese steak it's a sandwich of course just like this so all she has to do is just warm it up in the microwave and it still should be good yeah i haven't had this yet i will ask my husband if she if he would try one and see what he thinks so i bought actually i bought two of that you know, to kind of, so that I do not have to go out to buy this every week or every two weeks. I have it already, and my mother-in-law will be able to have her her meal, and that she like she would like. See, <laughs> one last thing, guys. It's a little heavy, so I have to 
pause my camera and pick up this one last thing that's so heavy guys it is so heavy it's watermelon see how big it is it's like two of my head or maybe three so anyhow this <laughs> this watermelon is seedless and it's only five dollars and 98 cents so um uh, my mother-in-law and i will split this because i cannot eat them all you know it go bad before i can even finish it and the same thing <laughs> uh, the same thing with my mother-in-law also so that said we're just gonna split that the watermelon so it's really so look at the eyes i have i bought a lot today actually it's like it's like but yeah i bought a lot for like three people but anyway these are just like i i can put it some are non-perishable really the peanut butter will go to the philippines yeah oh did i show you i guess i forgot to show you guys here too i bought this one too cornstarch this is good when um i don't know if you've seen me uh for those of you that you probably have not seen like i said all my uh video i made um stir fry chicken and i pretty much kind of marinate with my marinade i put the cornstarch on my chicken so that the cornstarch is actually what makes the chicken taste like so velvety and that's the secret so can i just put a little bit in the of uh, cornstarch before you saute the chicken so yeah that's why i have to have that cornstarch as well so guys this is i think yeah i think this is all what i have all i hope guys that you enjoy my haul for today i know it's kind of to me sounds it's a lot but maybe it's not but uh those are the things that when i buy when I go grocery shopping and then if I see something that's on sale and then I know I can use it to send to the Philippines I'll buy them so I buy quite a few I mean you know a few here and there kind of start gathering them together before I put it in the bags so guys thank you so much for watching I hope you had a good day and be safe guys and for those who have not subscribed my channel Please subscribe my channel, like my videos, and subscribe my channel. And you guys have a good day. Take care, be safe, and I will see you soon, guys. Bye. So, guys, here's the my you know my entire haul for the day. Here's my um, popcorn, my apple, my shrimp here, banana. That's the Philly cheesesteak cheese steak right here, guys. Oh, it's the other way around, but you know what it is. And here's my uh, sausage, my um, green beans, my bananas, and my salmon, hot dog. Here's my peanut butter and my other stuff right here, guys. And of course, here's my, uh, here's my <laughs> uh, beef jerky. And those are my... Um, strawberries so thank you so much guys for watching and please enjoy the rest of your day don't forget the uh, watermelon it's huge <laughs>